died to some kind of Play-Doh monster. Right. Is that available tasks? I think the T stands for tipple is what I was confused about the last video. Alright. Oh, Selma seems a little anxious with all the rubbish scattered about the town. If you haven't seen my last video, there was a windstorm that affected the village and that's why there's all this debris. So we're going to go ahead and fetch her some apples. So you can make some of that sweet, sweet money. And at least being a brat. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of apples. Last time we got hit by an anvil, I think both times we tried to do this task, our goal this time, no anvils. Take a B. And I have no money, so I will not be trying again. I passed. This will do, I suppose. I would have been better off asking Freya instead, perhaps. But why would you say that? Why didn't you ask her then? Oh, I will next time. Elma. It's entitled to that. Okay, so that does it for Monday. Not Monday, morning. It's Sunday right now. So morning's done. Are we in afternoon now? Or is this something else? Romantic date of it now available. Okay. So doing a task makes a time period go by. So I'm gonna assume then that I have to go on my date first. Like I have to choose between a date and a task. Oh, Elise, you don't look so good, Mrs. Dorothea. You seen Mippy by any chance? I have to make sure she's doing her daily readings. She's awfully behind. No, I have.
haven't. Have you tried asking Mrs. Lorley? Yes, I was told she was sent to the well for water, but she's not there. Oh, at least I can only pray she's all right. She does wander off quite often, doesn't she? Won't you please tell her if you see her? So we're looking for, I think, Miffy, I think she said? Hold on, let me find Freya first. I think she wanted to meet us somewhere? Let's see. Meet Freya at the viewpoint in the afternoon. Where's the viewpoint? Oh, wait. Village entrance, crossroads, creek, viewpoint. Okay, so then, yeah, we just keep continuing this way. Go talk to French children. Get out of my way. That sounded so mean. I like kids, but we have a date to get to, okay? Oh, that's another task. I can't. I can't work right now, you guys. I have I have a cute girl I need to go meet, okay? Just give me a second. I'm gonna end up being so poor over this girl, I swear. There that is a very suspicious sunbeam. It's just very well placed, doesn't do anything. Okay, let's go this way. And best not wander about too far. Well then where does this go? go somewhere totally different. Maybe that we haven't unlocked it yet. So we went too soon. It's across the creek, I think. to dress it at this rate. Oh, right. Why don't you help too, Elise? Me? Uh, you could spend the night on Friday and we could all do it together. Sleepover. Mm -hmm. I'm not too certain. Mm -hmm. Oh, it would be so much fun to have you. I'm not so good at that kind of thing, Freya. Oh, she approached. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's wonderful. I knew daisies would suit you best. Freya! <laughs> what do you say, Elise? Do you want to stay the night? I suppose I could, but... <laughs> it's alright if you don't want to, silly. That's not what I... You don't fancy me much, do you, Elise? Oh. Freya! All I want is to be good friends with you, despite everything. I do too, you know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make you feel for me or anything of the sort. For goodness sake. That's not it, Freya. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> oh, but I truly didn't mean to. For goodness sake. You're always overcompensating. It makes you seem disingenuous. Please. What can I 
say she's a people pleaser. I'm glad we're friends, Freya. I truly am. And you keep trying to please me day in, day out. That's not what I meant to do, Elise. We should treat me more as a friend, Freya. Rather than someone you owe an apology to. Elise. I'll be using that ointment you made me, alright? I never meant to overcompensate. For goodness sake. Yet you shower me with gifts every day of the week. You don't do that to anyone else. What am I supposed to think? She likes you, Elise. I know. That's because I care for you, Elise. Aw, oh, she's got the little blush. Huh? <laughs> There's a reason why you're the only one, silly. Oh, I think it finally dawned on her. Anyhow, it's getting quite late, isn't it? <laughs> she doesn't even know what to do. Is everything all right? You're red as a beak. <laughs> Wait, it is getting quite late. I, just, I really gotta get going, you know. Shush it, you. What are you laughing at? See you later, Elise. See you around town, Elise. For goodness sake. Hey! My best device? We got a heart piece for Freya. She's a freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Elise is officially about starving, so let's feed her first, and then let's look at our little locket, because if you saw my last video, there's like a, a locket in one of the, yeah, get a love heart after every successful date, to her progress in the relationships menu, okay. So yeah, she's getting a little woozy. What is happening? So this is the locket. So we have our suspicion right now, which I think is zero, I would assume. We open it. We have Rosenmarine, Freya, and Lebkuken. Alrighty. So... Is the music off because she's hungry? I'll hear that too, right? And the music just changed. That is such a clever detail. What the heck? Okay, so she's pretty well fed now. And then when we go to work, um, we can earn some more money so we can buy I saw somewhere on my uh, YouTube, like for you page or whatever, homepage. Uh, I think the voice actor of Freya did a little playthrough of this game. I don't know if it was the whole thing or just like a little live stream, but I thought that was cool. Before we do anything else, we're gonna save while we still can. where we found the spooky cave with the monster in it. I'm not gonna go here right now because we need to get this girl some uh, money so that we can get this girl some food and then we can go ahead and deal with that. Oh, there's Freya. Hey, girl. Ah, uh, Elise. I thought you'd be in town. Oh, I just stopped to pay Mrs. Gretel a visit. She's been wanting to teach me this recipe, but I can't seem to find the time. A recipe for what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Elise. Uh, you see, Papa's a big fan of her honey milk bread, but... Mr. Gustav? He's got the biggest sweet tooth, you know. Now that's a little unexpected. I've been meaning to learn the recipe, is all. Why not get it from Mrs. Gretel's? Ah, oh, it's a little embarrassing, but... Papa, well, he's always said that, um... You don't have to tell me, Freya. He says he likes my cooking better because it's, um... Made with love. Oh, I know, Elise. He's so embarrassing. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some jobs. Which one is this one? Oh, you're such a 
blessing, Elise. What a way to tell me you need a hand, Mrs. Marlin. Ah, oh, but I truly do mean it last. Today has been such a mess. Won't you be a dear and fetch me some apples? Of course. Apples are our specialty. Something about not eating a sulk? How many apples? All of them. All of the apples. And more than 112. I want an A. This is the only minigame I'm good at. There's another one about gathering eggs in a chicken coop, and it's just, I'm not terrible at it, but it's not, it's not great either, so. Here we go. tipple, so that's pretty good. And I pass. Let me guess, she's gonna tell me she would have passed Freya. This will do nicely. You can have this for your time. I dare say you could have done a little better. Perhaps. Alright, so now it's evening. Oh, I'm finally done with work for today. I'd best head over to Mrs. Gretel's to see Levka again. Okay, so let's do that. Let's save. Today would never end, that's all. You do look tired, Elise. These folks will be the death of me, that's what. Fighting over this witch nonsense day and night. You know they're rather superstitious, Elise. Oh, you're buying into it now, too. What's next? We all sleep in the church together like chickens in a coop? Elise! It's all nonsense, Lev. Everyone's losing their wits. Here's your bread, Elise. too much today or something? I thought you could use a little more than usual tonight. You need to look after yourself, Elise. Lovka can always have a talent to figure things out, but is this her true intuition again, or... Move along, Elise, before it gets late. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, Lev. Lev knows what's up. We're just a poor orphan trying to make our way in the world, you know? Okay, so there are wrinkles above Gretel's mouth, and I know that they're meant to be wrinkles, but every time I look at them, it just looks like a mustache, and I can't unsee it, and neither now will you. You're welcome. Alright, let's buy some bread. Ooh, a pretzel could be good. Hold on. This is 12. This is 9. I think that means... What does that two mean? Is that how many I have right now? I feel like 
these are going to be good to have on hand. Okay. Okay, yeah, so the blue numbers are what I actually have right now. I 
think I might need something to clear my mind. Investigate the notes further. How are we doing on sanity? Not great. So, uh, let's go home. Whoa, let's save. Let's, uh, let's save, shall we? I'm surprised that worked. <laughs> Let's go home, bruh. Like, there's a sparkly in there, and we will go back for it, but not right now. My girl's been through it. Oh, uh, there's like frog song in the background at night. That's lovely. See, during the day, this is so pretty and lovely and nice. At night, it's not like it's like awful at night, but it is spooky. Especially with like the extra wind ambience and the music. Mm. Oh, see, it even like the sign kind of freaked me out. We don't need to save. It's fine. It's fine. List bug, it's fine. <sighs> Does this box do anything? No. Alright, it's Rose and Marine. Please. Welcome back! <sighs> I brought some bread. Let's settle down and eat. Do we each get a piece of bread? Would you like me to start making dinner for us tomorrow? Oh, from... T Wait. Would you like me to start making dinner for us from tomorrow, Elise? Does she need four tomorrow? Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea in and of itself, but... How am I to know you won't make a mess of it? That is true. She didn't make a big mess of our house. Last thing I want is to spend my evenings in the outhouse. I'll have you know I'm a proper cook, Elise. Never once did my sweet granny disapprove of anything I prepared. <sighs> well, I suppose it can't do much harm. All right. On that note, Rosemary, you're to sleep up in the attic from now on. Can't have you hanging around the granary and bringing all the dust and cobwebs inside. Oh, but I... Oh, I can clean it out for you, Elise. It's really no trouble. I've had my fill running about looking for you day and night. But... Oh, at least I wouldn't want to be a bother. This whole game is full of people pleasers, except Elise. And I wouldn't want you get I wouldn't want you nesting with the mice and the geckos. You're sleeping in the attic and that's final, you hear? I'm letting you sleep inside where it's perfectly warm and And Did you hear that, Rosemary? I heard a click that sounded like a door. Hear what? I'm taking the broom. You stay here, just in case. What did she hear? I'm the source of the no- No. What is- what are you? What are you? A child? Daddy. It's you! What the heck? <laughs> Please spare me, Elise! Don't spare her. Mappy. What in goodness name are you doing here, Mippy? <laughs> I was on a stroll, I swear, I swear my auntie's name. Is that so? And you just happened to hide behind my house, I see. Who doesn't? You sneak about folks' homes every now and then too, don't you? Mm. What are you doing here, Mandy? Tell me right now or I'll scrub your mouth with soap this very minute. I don't think that's her name. Yeah, it's Muffy. Uh, it's getting quite late, isn't it, Elise? I bet. Out with it! <laughs> I saw her! The girl you're housing, Elise! Uh, you saw nothing, Molly! Sh she's not from around here! Even I can tell! Uh, you were having supper together and everything, Elise! Why is she drooling? Uh, you keep your mouth shut, Mubby! <laughs> I love that every time she tries to say her name, it's like an increasingly less similar name to her real name? Wait, is Muffy even her real name? Like, I think, isn't the lady Mrs. Dorothea? She called her Miffy. Does everyone get her name wrong? No. Why don't you share some of that bread you got, Elise? I might keep quiet if you do. For goodness sake. Oh, I should have guessed that's what you wanted. I just bought this. Uh -huh. I hear as much as a word about this, Molly. Oh, Molly. Exceptionally excited about bread. Golly, Elise, why don't you bring me a pretzel tomorrow? We're being blackmailed. Out with it! Mouth shut or I'll throw you in the well. Eee! This is 
suspicion down. Okay. So I suppose we have to make sure she's not tattletailing. And don't come back or else. For goodness sake. This is the last thing I needed. I'm sorry, I... Is she gone? Mm. This could be bad, Mars Marine. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, Elise, I genuinely didn't see her. I would have told you if I had. Uh. Don't you start fighting now, too? Do you think she'll tell anyone? Mm. She does. We could be... Mm. In trouble. I know. I'm sorry, I... It's Rose and Marine. Shush it, you. I'm heading back inside. Uh, yes. You could at least get her name right. Okay, so Muffy's spying on you. Fulfill her daily request for food items to keep her from snitching and raise suspicion. Every day? What the heck? Does she not get food at home? Say and do your best to avoid raising suspicion toward Elise or bear the consequences. I guess it turns into a witch hunt. Elise! I'm heading off to bed, Rosemarine. I can spend the night in the granary if you'd like. <laughs> no, I meant what I said. You're sleeping in the attic. You're not a barn animal, Rosemarine. I'll meet you upstairs. Alright. <laughs> Girl. I wonder if it's because she just wants to spend time with her goat. It's been a long time since I've gone into Granny Holly's room. Not that there's anything to see you there anyhow. But what if there is? Where's Rose and Brain? Oh, we got a girl in our room. You left that goat in the granary, I'm hoping. Uh, of course. <laughs> I left the door ajar so you can go out and about if he wants. What makes you think he'll stay put? <laughs> Where the bed had made him, of course. You ought to see it, Elise. Hmm. I'm not going out of my way to see a goat's hay bed, Rosemarine. Up you go. You need to make your bed, too. Okay, so we have an attic. You'll make do, I'm certain. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's way too happy about this. I'll get you a blanket, too. I can't have you sleeping on hay. Why not? For goodness You're not a goat, Rosemarine. <laughs> I could be a thief, yet you're trusting me with a blanket? For goodness sake. I don't see what's so funny. You truly are kind, Elise. I can see that clearly now. When we first met Rosemarine, we thought she was a thief because she made a huge mess of her house. I'll be glad to take that blanket, Elise. I'll get you some matches, too, and a candle. Thank you, Elise. It is bedtime now. I need some rest. Good night. I was gonna say, they're not. I thought she was seriously gonna just make her sleep on hay. Does this jar do anything? Nope, we're going straight to bed. For goodness sake, what am I getting myself into? First I agreed to house Rosemarine. Now Mithy's caught wind of it too. Best make sense of this all by tomorrow. If only I could leave this town. Go somewhere far, far away from here. Place where I never have to fret about money or going hungry. Like a castle or a palace. Somewhere where I can live the life I deserve. She just wants to be not poor. What is up with the filter on that? house. Yeah, I'm a little confused about that myself. Where? Where am I? What is this? Is this a dream? 